please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not. Bitch, I wish you were a cop. Please go away. I'm going to call the cops. Pretty lady. Come on. Oh! Hey, what's up, boys? I'm on Screen Moon. Uh, we're back with Fears to Fathom. I did Home Alone yesterday. So now we're going to be doing Norwood Hitchhike. Uh, so I don't got much to say, so let's get into it. Fears to Fathom, Episode 2. Norwood Hitchhike. June 16th. This happened to me when I was 19. Okay, so just barely older than me. I'm a little over 21 now. I still remember this very clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out for the internet at first, as you probably should be. But getting out may help even if just a little bit. Bro, you, at that point you just need a therapist, man. If this story is anything like the last one, like... I was one of those people that loves gaming conventions. Okay, I'm with you there. I'd go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. Though my parents weren't always thrilled at the idea of me going on interstate drives. But a plane ticket would have been too expensive. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day to drive back home. But when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided that I'd take the long way to avoid the traffic. I was a little, it was a little over 12 hour drive. Um, I would have just taken the, the traffic, honestly. Oh shit, okay. All right, so we could drive. Driving at night is really therapeutic for me. Wait, uh, that's probably a copyright. Aiden Williams. All right, well, I'm gonna be a good role model here. I'm going to pull over before I read this. Aiden Williams. Is this my homie? Damn. Uh, I'm just gonna skim through it. Um, tickets, get in the car, uh, skate park, sounds fun. Where are you, almost there? Are you driving all the way back? Uh, is that a good idea or whatever? Could have left tomorrow morning. Give me a call when you reach your cave. Okay, um, stuck in the biggest traffic jam of the country. That's it, I'm rerouting here. You do what you gotta do. Hey, probably wasn't a good idea. Uh, dad, uh, go to that convention. Can I take your car for five days with who? My homie. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who was that? Um, yeah, random white van. That's literally like the most sketchy thing. Uh, let's go through it. Um, I'll drive you. Why don't you understand anything? What the fuck? Rude. So I'm gonna get him drive safe. Don't forget to call me. You got it. Uh, this is the dude leaving now. Drive safe. Okay, so uh, nothing that crazy. Um, white van was a bit sketchy, but uh, who knows? Maybe it's just you know some dude. Dad, what's up, Dad? Where did you reach? Uh, nowhere yet. I'm driving, bruh. Aw, oh, fuck, we're low on gas. Near halfway through the drive, I realized I was low on gas. Shit. Any uh, gas stations nearby, bro? You're in the middle of fucking nowhere. Dad. Uh, still about six hours away from the city. Got stuck in a jam. Told you to take that flight. Yeah, you probably should have, bro. It's just a little bit of extra money. I, you fucking... I would not drive this far by myself. Oh, shit! No! Oh! Oh, what the? What side is her pump on, man? Her tank. Uh, fuck it. Let's just, let's just get out. Let's get out. It's good, right? It's a good parking spot. Yeah, this is, uh, works, right? No! Okay. This is better. Now we're good. Now we're good. Oh! Wasn't me. Dude, I used to work at a, uh, two gas stations, actually, and... Uh... People would actually hit the pumps, man. People were pretty stupid. Maybe I'm supposed to go in first. I'm gonna get a glizzy. Norwood gas station. What's up, sir? Uh. Uh. How's your night going? He just looked at me. Uh. Where are you headed? He just looked at me. Okay. Mom. Holly? Mom? 
Hey, what's up, bastard? Can I get ten dollars on pump two, please? You head to the bridge by yourself? The bridge? The Norwood Valley Road, I mean. Not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful, uh... What do you mean? For about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. The people who went looking for them never returned. Locals say the Norwood Valley monster had torn them up and hung them upside down on trees. Cool. Okay. I didn't need to know that. Uh... Oh shit, we could grab anything? I'm gonna take a, take a brewski. I'll take a 40. See you later, buddy. You need to pay for that, ma'am. Oh, okay. You go, cocksucker. What are you doing? I am leaving. Fuck you. And one more thing. My boy does not want to leave me alone. If you see a woman in a white or blue gown trying to get a ride, do not stop. Just step on gas as hard as you can. Who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident there on prom night. Some say that she seeks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out there for blood. Whatever you do, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road putting their thumbs out, they ain't what you think, ma'am. They just ain't. Hey. That is some good fucking advice, though. Y'all ever seen Texas Chainsaw Massacre, bro? Uh-uh. Yo, 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 yo. Hey, 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 hey. Yo, yo. No, 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 no. Something ain't right. That was the van. How do I pump gas? I don't know if you found any shop this hour, but we're out of dog food. Could you buy some for a while? I'll pay you back. Bruh, I am 12 hours from home. Uh, yeah, I'll have this. I'll take a, take a bag of chocolate. Uh, man, please stop that. I'm not done. I'll take some, some ramen. Okay, fine. Can I at least have the dog food, bro? This. I want this. That'll be five dollars, man. Okay. Thank you. Um. Does that mean I can buy some milk? I'd like this too, please. Fuck you. There will be consequences. My bad, bro. Um. Okay, let's just throw it in here. Boom. That's uh, not in there. Boom. Okay, um... How the fuck do I pump gas? Two hours later. There, perfect. Okay, so we got the gas. We got the gas. Gas. Gas, 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 gas. The gas will start flowing. I filled the tank and I was off to road again. Still don't know how I feel about that white van, man. That was awfully... Uh, that was highly suspect. Being on the road, you do realize a thing. And what's that? Monsters truly do exist. And every single one of them just looks like you and me. Pretty true. Not gonna lie. It's not expired or anything, right? No, why the fuck would they sell expired dog food, mom? Leave me alone. And there goes my lights. Y'all wanna... Oh. Okay, we're good, we're good. Back on. Oh, shit, we're picking up some speed. Yo, 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 who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I'm tailing someone. Hey. Get off the road. Oh, shit. No, I don't like that. No, no, no. They tampered with my fucking car. Hey, buddy. You're going like five under. Pick it up, boy. Come on. Pick it up! Thank you. Fuck, you know? Okay, my lights still work. Somehow. Oh, here's the bridge they were talking about. I don't see nobody, though. I don't believe in ghosts, man. What the fuck you think I am? There would be no way I'd be driving here, bro. Like, listen, I'm used to taking the back roads, and I've been up in the mountains driving a place like this. It is, okay, broken down car. It is sketchy, man. It's, it's just pure... Oh, what the hell? Drive over that son of a bitch. It's just it's too sketchy. Like, there's no, like... No civilization, bro. Like, 
Fuck that, bro. You got probably got no cell service. What happens if your car breaks down, man? Oh shit, little. Hey, 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 let's. There's this very weird thing about that. I wanted to explore that shed, but I saw two big logs in the middle of. Nah. Here's what I'd do. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Well, you backed up. And you know what else? We're in the middle of nowhere. I would not. Um, it's almost as someone deliberately. Put, yeah, no fucking shit, dude. There was a car in front of me though. But I didn't think much of it at the time. You should, dude. This is. Ah, oh, hell not, nah, dude. Now someone's watching you, bro. Those were heavy. Let's just move them out of the way. Okay. We're all good. We're all good. I hear you. See, dude, listen. You're in this scenario, man. I'm always saying I would do something, and you're probably thinking, like, ah, cap, right? Nah. You, listen, bro. If you're out here all by your fucking self, and you hear somebody, dude, you gotta, like, you know, you gotta start, you gotta, like, you gotta puff up, man. You gotta start, like, you gotta start asserting yourself, man. I'd be like, hey! Like, what the fuck's out there? You know, like, you just gotta, like, listen, bro. Just say whatever, man. Like, hey, yo. I got, I got... I got, I got, I don't know, I, I, see, even now, like, I don't know what I would fucking say, dude, I'm spooked. Oh, god fucking damn it. Yeah, they fucking, they tampered with my shit at the gas station. The car wouldn't start back up. Isn't that fucking swell? Now you're boned. I did not park there. Well, let's see what we can do here. Just like that, I was staring in the middle of nowhere with no phone service. Maybe you should have fucking taken the right route. I'm not saying that I believe whatever that bullcrap that gas station clerk pulled. But I would be lying if I said I didn't feel the slightest of unease. I don't mean to make this sound like a cliche horror story, but... Throughout my life, I was told not to take rides from strangers. It's a game. But at that moment, I had no choice. I was scared to think how long it would take for someone to pass. Dude, nah, like, you just... 10.23pm. Okay, so some time went by. Dude, nah, you just... You just gotta lock yourself in the car. I saw a car nearing. Hey! Stop! Stop fucking bloody bastard! You Damn, they just barely missed me. Fuck you, asshole. Pure evil. I don't understand how anybody could leave another human being stranded like that. See, dude, this has got to be like some sort of inside job, right? You got the clerk telling everybody not to pick up hitchhikers. You got someone fucking tampering with my shit. Someone putting logs out here. Like, this is a fucking. This has got to be like a fucking. It's got to be planned out, surely. At that point, man, just lock yourself in the car. Just pray. Hello? Hello? Stop. Please stop. No. No. Stop. Stop. You will stop. Halt! Oh, shit. He stopped. What's up, Squire? The girl from the gas station. Oh, yeah. You're the weirdo. Um... Thank you so much for stopping. What are you trying to do out here? I think my... What am I trying to do? Bro, are you blind? My car broke down. I can't call for help. There's no phone service. You think I can get a ride? Where are you headed to? Um, just the nearest stop where I can get a call. Or I can call someone. Hoffman, thanks so much. Could you wait till I get my stuff? Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Alright. Well, I appreciate it, my boy. But, uh... I don't like what I'm hearing right now. And your little rinky-dink hat there. Hurry up, I need to get moving now. Uh, I'm done. Finally, now hop in, be quick. Alright, well I appreciate it, my boy. That took way longer than it should have, though. Alright, let's get rolling, bro. Listen, bro. I would never, I could never hitchhike, dude. That's so sketchy. Like... 
I feel like I am well enough, like, I'm smart enough to be able to protect myself. So you want to tell me who you are, where you're going? Uh, I was driving home, and that piece of crap broke down on me. Jason. Jason? My name's Jason. Oh, uh, nice to meet you, Jason. I'm not going to tell you my name, but that's cool. Um, but especially for her, dude, I would... I would be very scared. You're really lucky I had to be on this side of the town tonight. I must say, you're one brave young woman. What is that supposed to mean? You got any clue what happened to your car back there? I think it was the battery. Are you sure? It's my dad's. It's pretty old. Okay. My boy, do you, do you have something to do with what happened? So what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Uh, he really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down here. Uh, so is it true? What, the monster? Let's see, I've never seen the monster for myself, but there are, there are some things. I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Hey listen, I don't want to sound like that moron, but just remember this. You don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Who's them? I fucking told you it was an inside job. We got some fucking cult activity here, bro. You know, I'm sorry for being a jerk to you before. I'm not the best with people. Bro, I don't even know you. Just give me where I'm going, homie. 12.08 a.m. After a little bit of small talk, he dropped me by a motel. Apparently, they offered roadside assistance. Besides, I thought I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people out there, he said ominously before leaving. Okay, well here's all my shit. What's up, broski? The man was putting out the creepiest vibes imaginable. He's just standing there! Uh... Gal need a room to shack up for the night? Uh... Yeah, I'm only gonna be here for a few hours. Forty dollars for a single. Pay cash only, okay? Y'all got an ATM? Room number nine, right over there. Talk about the car. Ninety dollars, Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Damn, they're really fucking taking advantage of me right now. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They may not take very nicely to it. Okay. Room nine. So we got some water. Got some cola. Good old fashioned cola. He says he wants some good old fashioned cola. Okay, so these increase your sprint speed. How much money do I have though? Uh, I'm just gonna get the most expensive thing. I get the refreshing soda, even though I fucking hate soda. Let's drink it. Because this person runs super fucking slow. Okay, that, that didn't make any difference, I don't think. It increased my sprint speed for literally one step. Are you for sure? Are you for real? I couldn't just go into any room. Okay. My boy. Oh! <laughs> okay. Got me with some coffee. Didn't want it. Okay. Okay. Well, now I'm a little faster. Damn, I'm hella fast. Never mind. Okay. Fuck. Where did you reach? Why are you not picking up a call? What do you mean, reroute? Dad, I may have to stay by a motel tonight. Not delivered. No fucking service, Mom. Holly, no response. Fuck. Hey, where you at? Your dad's calling me. Fuck. Uh... I don't know. Nine. It's nice and warm inside. Except there was a smell, a type of musty smell you get from old houses. Couldn't have slept there. What we got on TV? Superman? Well, at least it's not copyright. Alright, so we got no mattress. I mean, you could probably call your parents now. Oh! What are you doing here? Boy, what are you doing here? I should be asking you. I'm Tommy, room service here at Roadway End, the finest stopover in Norwood. What were you doing in there? You know, cleaning stuff. 
guy at the front desk gave me this room. Man, you're a fucking weirdo. I'm gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just go get my stuff. Okay. Fucking finally, that only took forever. Had a word with Joe about the situation. What is wrong with these people? Mercy, mercy, mercy. What do you mean? But don't you worry, it's safe here. I go get your car. And also the room's phone is not working. If need anything, just ask the front desk. We've been trying to get it fixed, but we haven't been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. Okay. This is all just a fucking setup, isn't it? Well, um... Thanks for making up the bed. I guess I'll... Sleep? Well, fuck. This is the easiest game I ever played, bro. I just gotta watch some fucking Superman. Well, Tommy go gets my car. Hey! Fucking weirdo. Call Foresight, but there was something very off about that place. You know what? I have a story for you guys, okay? I have a story. This just reminded me of something. Kind of like how, you know, uh, on Home Alone, I was talking about my experience of... I, uh, the feeling of tiredness overcoming my anxiety. Uh... One, okay, I had a creepy experience at a at a motel once, like this. Okay, so when I was um, when I was 15, I was just about to turn 16, right? I was moving to another state for a year, and I was driving with my dad, and his car broke down, unfortunately, and we had like three dogs with us, and pretty much like a U-Haul full of all of our stuff, right? So we had to stay at this motel, okay? And it was your typical run-of-the-mill crackhead motel, you know, like it wasn't nice at all, it was dirty, it was gross, and it just gave off bad vibes, you know? What the hell? Where's the bathtub? What the fuck? Okay. Am I supposed to be... doing something? Said I'm tired, huh? Okay, so we can get a coffee then. And bro, why does that cup look so dirty? That's gross. I'll just get the espresso, dog. Consuming these helps you stay awake. Okay, I guess that's what we need to do. I'll finish my story in a sec, okay? Okay, so we had some coffee. Let's go back. Hello? I still hear Superman. Hello? What the fuck? Yo, 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 my- everything's inverted. Everything's inverted. I'm drugged. I got drugged. I'm under the influence. Someone slipped me a mickey. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Dad. Dad, please. I'm fucked. I left the door open. Oh my god. Holy shit, I do not feel well. Get in the house. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh god. Holy fuck. Oh god. I'm fucked. Oh my lord. Nah. You're, you're dead. You're dead. You're fucked. Dude. Fuck. That, man. You just got Jeffrey Dahmer. 318. I was sedated. I thought the phone didn't work. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh hell no. Nah. Oh hell no. Nah. Hello? No, nah, someone's in the closet. Someone is in the fucking closet. Oh fuck no. Mm -mm. Didn't feel safe going out. I don't feel safe in here. Oh wait, shit. Here comes here comes the guy. Here comes the guy. Who is it? Joe from the front desk. Over the door. Over the door. My boy. Help. You got some big ass lips, bro. Didn't I specifically tell you to not wake anyone up? I have complaints. What are you making all those goofy noises for? Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? Bro, it's the coffee machine, man. They drugged me. 
Are you messing with me? No! We don't have no coffee machine here. It's right over there. Okay, okay, here. I've had enough of you crazy goons here. For once I thought we had a sober guest, but I guess I'm the crazy one here. Follow me. I hate my job. Listen, don't we all, okay? I hate my fucking life right now, dog. I could be dead. Watch, it's not gonna be there anymore. Are you part of the inside job, boy? Is this your fucking idea? Oh, the music. I'm getting chills. There's nothing here. Tommy, I swear. Anyway, you're not Tommy. It's the other guy. Go back to your room. I swear to God it was right here. I said go back now. I don't trust you, man. There should be some medication in your room that should offer you some relief. Check the ability. Bitch, I'm not taking anything else I've seen here. Fuck that. I'm leaving. Dog. That's the fucking van. Nah. I don't trust you. I don't trust anyone here. Back the fuck up, man. Y'all are on some weird shit. I should've asked him to fucking check the closet. Wait. No one's in there now. I can hide in here? Oh shit. Okay, so I guess I gotta be quiet. Okay, well we know where to hide. In case shit hits the fan. Okay, I'm done with Superman. No, I'm not. Okay, so back to my story. So, we were at this, like, crackhead motel, right? Super sketchy. And at the time, I, you know, like, I, we were there for a lot longer than we anticipated, right? We had to stay there for, like, a week. And uh, I, um, I was just watching streams on my phone, you know, like, E-Rob or XQC, you know, like, at the time, E-Rob was doing his Dark Souls thing, so I was watching all the time, right? And I swear to God, I'm not fucking with you, because my dad wouldn't remember it because he was asleep, but... At night, because I'm a night owl, I, I can't fall asleep easy. I would, uh, I would hear shit. You know, like, just, like, people arguing or people yelling. Thing like, okay, just, like, druggies, right? Like, you know, like, nothing nothing against that, but that's what it was. When I told you, bro, one night, I heard someone. I shit you not. Hand to fucking God. Someone was banging on our door, bro. Someone started banging on our door. I was laying in bed. I was like, bruh, like, what the fuck? I, I didn't want to go check the blinds, like, because... I was scared that they would like someone would see me. So my dad was asleep, and the dogs heard it, but like they weren't barking. Like they were just as sketched out as me, and they just they just banged on the door and they were gone. And I told my dad, "They didn't believe me. I don't fucking trust motels, especially after that." Okay, well he said I was supposed to be taking some medication. Here we go. Let's take these. Take these with some water. Good. I don't know if I want to open the bathroom door, dude. Let's just go back to sleep. Pretend like nothing ever happened. Um. Fuck, none of the messages went through. That's sketchy. No service, though. I don't feel safe here, man. Who? Did someone just take a fucking picture? No, y'all heard that. Leave me alone. Hello. No, I got chills. Who is it? 
Please open the door. I need help. What do you want? I need your help. Please open the door. No. I don't trust you, man. I'm wearing some weird fucking baby costume. I know you're in there. Yeah, no shit you know I'm in there. I fucking just spoke to you. Leave. Leave or else you're gonna catch this quick fucking fade, bruh. Please leave. I just need to talk to you. I swear I'm not. Bitch, I wish you were a cop. Please go away or I'm gonna call the cops. Pretty lady, come on. <gasps> oh! What the fuck was that? <laughs> to this day, I find it really weird that the manager inferred not to talk to the police or to not get police involved as it would have affected Motel's reputation and let go of the situation. Bro, your motel already has a trash reputation. I believe that the town could have been home to a cult or a drug ring or possibly something even worse. Tommy arrived with the car after what felt like a year. I never went on long road trips again. I would always take airplanes. We made it! We survived! We did it! Damn, that was a lot longer than the other one, man! Shit! <gasps> cool, we made it! Let's go! That one was way more spookier than the last one, honestly. I don't... The ending was kinda whack, though, bro. Like, I get it's probably, like, a low budget, but, like... The oh. Well, guys, that was a uh, Beers to Fathom Norwood Hitchhike. It's only one more out right now. The Carson House, I don't know if it's out right now or if they've just revealed it and they haven't put it out yet. But I'm definitely going to be playing that when I have the chance. Uh, if you guys liked it, make sure you like, sub, tell me other games you want to see, and I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Peace.